Hi, I'm James at Bespoke Airsoft. Welcome back to another video. We've got another Tokimaru product here, which is the MMP 9L Performance Center model. So yes, we're looking at a product in their M&P9 line, this being the Performance Center model, which is obviously a longer version of the two other models that they do, which are the M&P9 and the M&P9 V Custom. Let's get the TDC set up, let's take a closer look at this thing, and then we'll get to the chrono and accuracy test, and then we'll be back on camera. Here we have the M&P9 L PC ported. Very cool box. Maruri really know how to do boxes, and all their new releases their new, newer releases compared to the old stuff that they did, they're just getting better and better. I mean, look at that, it looks so cool. The box is more orientated lengthwise, but uh, it's very, very cool indeed, I do like that. Let's take the box off. So we've got the usual manual and stuff behind the polystyrene, I'm not gonna get into that. Look at this pistol, it looks absolutely fantastic. Um, they give you a usual spare uh, magazine, buffer, plate, whatever you want to call it, bag plate. Uh, you get a gas magazine included. We've got a little box here which is going to have the usual stuff in it. So we've got muzzle cap, it says with accessories there, which is usually. Let's uh, get this box open if I can. Are you going to open today? It's going to be reluctant. BBs, cap for the, um, the the spaces for the magazine so you can dry fire at that hole and slow release down. We've obviously got a piece here which is for the optic when you want to, because this one will take the mini, miniature red dots. And of course your red barrel plug there, if you want to use that as well. They don't have to include this stuff, but it's nice that they do. We do that with all their products. We've got the pistol itself, very nice indeed, very cool looking pistol. And then we've got different grips, uh, the medium one is fitted to the pistol, we've got a large and a small. Uh, to change that we just rotate the plug, pull off the grip and then say if we take the small one, I tend to prefer the thinner style grips, so let's pop that on there. Pin slides in, rotate it clockwise, locks it into place. What I will say about this design, I actually went to a, a game, oh got a while ago when I was running a V Custom, uh, the jail, this actually managed to come loose in play. That went walkies in the car park. Then the grip came off in the game zone. I looked down, the pistol picked it up, and this is what I found, and I was like, oh my God, I'm never gonna get those spare parts. Actually a marshal uh, found the grip and gave that to me, so that was great. I put that back on there and then I was thinking, oh, what am I going to do in terms of securing this? And then I actually found, it was back when we had the, the bespoke Hummer. <laughs> I found this where I'd gone and looked at something in the car or something. Uh, this had come off and it was on the floor in the road and I managed to find it, which was lucky. Not that that story is interesting to you, but it just goes to show that that thing can come off quite easy during normal use. Here is the MP9L Performance Center ported, very, very nice pistol. Like I say, I've ran, I ran a black MP9 when it released, um, you know, all those years ago. I ran a V Custom, and then this is the only model that I haven't dealt with so far. You've got polymer frame, rail section there for your accessories, polymer slide, polymer barrel, they are plastic, it is a Marui guys, remember. And then to take the slide off, we just actuate. What I actually found with this pistol is this actuated, I mean normally you'd line up the pin there, but when that was lined up I could not get the slide off or back on. It was very, very strange indeed. What I actually found was it worked better if I just pulled the pistol slide back very slightly and turned it down. I don't know what's going on there. Got to be mentioned, so blowback unit, spring guide, hop unit. This is another one of those pistols that can be 
adjusted from, let's see if we can see there, from the, the ejection port, not that the camera is going to show it up there, you can just about see the wheel. Um, so you don't have to strip the pistol all the way down to adjust the hop. Obviously the frame bits and pieces in here and the controls and stuff are obviously going to be metal as well. Slide that back on there. And like I say, when I was looking at this pistol before, I actually found that just pushing the slide back slightly, that went back into place. Pushing it to the rear where you'd normally would and you'd have that notch for some reason. The pistol just did not want to play ball. So I have no idea what was going on there. Nothing's broken or worn or anything like that. It might just be the way the pistol is. Of course, on the slide, we can take this off and we can fit one of their plastic red dot sights. Not included in the box, but you do get some nice raised iron sights here with white dots. Very nice and easy to use. The triggers on their MMP line are very good as well. The reset. Very predictable. So you've got a bit of take up there before you get to the wall. Trigger is really comfy. I really do like this super curved design that they put on the pistols. Tiny bit of sponginess, but it's so predictable. Very nice indeed. We are empty. Gas in the magazine, no babies. Let's see what this thing blows back like. Fast as any Marui out there. Nice solid blowback action. When they released the MP series, it was some of their first pistols that they beefed up the blowback unit for a bigger bore, which obviously gave you more, more blowback action, makes them more snappy, which is why I love my original MP, MP9 so much. We've got some markings there. Performance center. You've got thumb rests on each side, which also activate as a safety. So you can't pull the trigger with them actuated up but then when the gun is not on safe you can use them as a thumb rest which is quite nice. Slide release can be found on both sides it's ambidextrous very nice indeed. Same magazine as all the other pistols so if you've got an MP9 and you want to go for the ported as well it'll take the same mags which is good as well. We'll get to chrono this thing let's see what it's doing as you'll see from the other Maru pistols that I've looked at already it's very consistent and we'll put up on screen just now the results. Nice and consistent for Maru there. I wasn't a massive fan of this pistol when it released, I'll, I'll be honest. Um, but after I saw it in person and I've had a play with it, I really do like this pistol. Accuracy test, 15 meters, 0.2 gram BBs first round, 0.3 gram BBs second round. Um, I haven't messed with the hop-up unit since I pulled this out of the box, so it's set to where it was from the factory. Of course, you'll get better results if you do tune the hop unit and set it to your BB weights. Uh, but this is just an out of the box results and I keep repeating myself in each video but I just want to say that to those that may be finding this video as the first one that they've seen. So let's get to that straight away, we'll see what it can do and then we'll be back in front of the camera. So yeah, the action test point twos, point threes, you've got one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So same amount of rounds again, not too much difference there. I don't know where the hop was set on the pistol, but I haven't messed with it. Of course, tuning the hop, as I always say in these videos, you're gonna get better results out of the heavier ammo. Um, not a bad readout whatsoever, that is nothing to be snarled at 15 meters, it's actually pretty good. Like I say, I'm not firing it from a rested position. I'm not firing it fixed to anything. 
it is literally me standing exactly where the camera is, putting the magazine in the pistol, pulling the pistol up and just firing at the target uh, and trying to gauge where the rounds are going at the same time. So, if you like your MMPs, if you've got an MMP9 from Marie already and you think about picking this up, one up, I will say do so. It's a very nice pistol, it's a nice model, it's got loads of nice features, it's very cool looking. Raised iron sights are really cool. You have to use the Tokyo Marie uh, plastic red dart again, which is a bit of a cop out. I'd rather go fit a really nice metal RMR, which, you know, about 60, 70 pounds, depending on where you're getting from. Um, I don't want to go and get the red dot from Marui, I want to put my own red dots that I've already got there. So it would have been nice if they'd have fitted um, you know, straight onto the pistol. Not sure if they do, I haven't really tried it, but I'm just going from what information I do have on this pistol. So very nice pistol, very nice performing. m and 9 is a good platform, this is pretty much exactly the same, you just got an extra little bit of uh, barrel length there with the uh, performance centre model. <coughs> Excuse me. So, packed with the same great features of the MP9s, but you know, if they're not really to your taste and you want sort of a slightly longer pistol and this is pushing your buttons, you're not going to go wrong whatsoever. Nice portings on the slide, portings on the barrel there, good performance, ambidextrous slide release, ambidextrous safety, really nice trigger. Um, you're not going to go wrong with it. Finding holsters for this thing might be a little bit more uh, difficult with the raised iron sights and obviously the extra length of the pistol, so you have to take that into consideration. Uh, but you know, a majority of the real steel holsters, you probably find this will fit it within within it no problem at all. Um, so thumbs up from me. It would have been nice if they'd accepted more red dot sights, of course. But you can see this on the website. Go to the link in the description below. For this and many other products, go to our website spurcase.co.uk. We've got loads of new Maru stuff in. And I hope you've enjoyed this review, this quick fire review of the mmp 9 l It's not a new product uh, anymore, but I hadn't looked at it yet, so I picked it up out of the warehouse. And we'll see you in the next video. Thank you.